Rob Perrin with Catawba College. Uh, here talking a little basketball with PhD hoops. Um, one little quick trick of the trade I think is important. A lot of post players or guys that get offensive rebounds think they have to shoot them right away. And, and uh, like it gives you a, a right because you've got an offensive rebound that you need to shoot. I don't think that's necessarily the case. But one thing that I think will help you uh, finish better um, or if you're a real big guy and you have a lot of guards swiping at the ball, or we just call it the re-anchor, okay? And ball comes off the backboard, you get it, okay? And a lot of post players get small, and we tell them to get big. Put the ball under your chin. You've heard that's really hard place to steal it from. They have to rake you across the eyes, and if they go up, you know, it's not going to go anywhere. But we'll often just say re-anchor, and that means just drop your foot back, okay? And then take your power with two feet towards the goal and finish with much more verticality than I had right there, okay? So just the re-anchor, catch it, people all over you, step back and then come back up. And it's not necessarily don't drive your elbow into your defender, okay? Uh, but it just helps you kind of keep your balance, right? You step back and keep your balance, and now you regain your power, okay? Now, obviously, if you got a situation where you catch and you're free, you just want to go up. Don't need to waste any time, but when there's contact, and you can do this with a pad in here, having coaches or managers in here with a pad, maybe one on each side, maybe somebody with a hack stick over here, whatever you're whatever your flavor is, okay, but we like to teach to re-anchor in crowds for good finishers. But there's nothing wrong with teaching kids to kick it out. And we think you get some great shots after offensive rebounds because people are scrambled and not matched up.